Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss. And it is Friday, so it's weigh-in day. We're gonna chat about my week. We're gonna talk about an exciting thing happening this weekend. And we're gonna chat about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a weigh-in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below. I will link nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Have yours done. This is what I followed to lose my 140 pounds, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. It's free. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's chat about my week, my weigh in and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. Happy April. We are officially in the fourth month of the year already. That is crazy to me. I feel like January went so slow, and then ever since then, this year has officially flown by. I love April because it's the beginning of spring. The weather starts to change in most areas. It's a great time to rethink our activity, to be able to go outside more. It's just a new era of the year starting in April and I am here for it. The weather here in Arizona is starting to warm up. We have the weirdest weather typically in April. Some days are cool, some days are hot, some mornings are cold, some mornings aren't. April's a little unsure of exactly what it wants to do typically here in Arizona, but it is warm enough that I'm able to work out in the morning at boot camp in a t-shirt, which is great. I transition from t-shirts into tank tops and shorts as we move into summer, but I'm just feeling really good about a new month and a new season. I had a really good week this week. I did all of my workouts. I went to boot camp three days, lifted weights in the gym, and exciting news, tomorrow, Saturday, I'm taking a hike at Sabino Canyon here in Arizona. It's just outside of Tucson. When Amy was here visiting, we went on a tour of Sabino Canyon, and on the tour, they talked about all these different hikes. Well, there's one hike called Seven Falls, and basically what you hike into is Seven Falls. So it's seven different levels of waterfalls, and right now in April, in the spring is when it is just at its peak. The water is flowing, the falls are beautiful. And when we took that tour, I told Amy, I'm gonna go hike that Seven Falls hike at Sabino Canyon. So it was on my radar to do, well, my boot camp group decided to do it as a group tomorrow. So we're taking an 8.4 mile hike tomorrow. That's going to be the longest hike I've taken mile wise, and I'm excited about it. I know I can do the eight miles. I'm also planning on packing some Tylenol because I have a feeling that my legs Legs will probably get pretty tired as we get to the last few miles. Doing that 10K in San Diego, I found at about mile five, my legs started to feel a little bit tired. So I'm definitely going to pack some Tylenol, lots of water, lots of snacks, but it's another NSV or another thing I get to check off my bucket list. And Sabino Canyon is beautiful. I will take lots of pictures. I'll share it with you guys in my Facebook group. So definitely join my Facebook group. We'll talk about it in next week's weigh-in, but I'm really excited for tomorrow. And I'm excited again to cross another thing off my list and do another thing I never thought I would be able to do. Just another really huge accomplishment of losing 140 pounds. I definitely am going to take a rest day on Sunday after that hike because I'll be right back to boot camp on Monday, but I'm really excited for the hike. And again, something that's going to be extra special to me to be able to do and to finish. Had a really good week of food. I enjoyed Easter. We went to my in-laws for Easter dinner. We had ham, scalloped potatoes. My mother-in-law made these really good frosted cookies. I'll pop in a picture here of our Easter spread, but it was just nice to go spend Easter with them, have a little bit of a brunch. I didn't track my food on Easter. Of course, I was mindful, had lots of ham, a little bit of everything else, lots of fruit. It was really, really delicious, and then just stayed on track the rest of the week. Like I mentioned last week, I have upped my calories a little bit. I'm trying to maintain my weight, and again, just kind of lean down if possible, but pretty much maintain my weight where my weight is. I'm really focused on getting stronger and fitter and healthier 
healthier. That's kind of where my, my focus has shifted. It was pretty much my focus at the beginning of the year, but you know I went through that horrible cut with my horrible coach, and now I just want to maintain my weight and enjoy my life. So that's been my focus, especially in the month of March. So I plan on staying on track this next week, tracking my food, getting in my movement, drinking my water, doing more of the same, and just living an overall healthy, sustainable lifestyle. Before I talk to you about my weigh in this week, let's chat about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And this is a really good one. Whether you're following Weight Watchers or macros and calories, this is a great topic. And this is 13 simple ways to save points or calories. Think about some of the meals that you're planning this week, or maybe some of the recipes that you're planning to whip up. What are some changes that you can make to save yourself points, calories, fat, carbs, whatever you're following? Here's some ingredient swaps that you can make. If a recipe calls for types of meat or poultry with more fat, like skirt steak, ground beef, or chicken thighs, try leaner cuts, like try tip sirloin, 95% lean ground beef, or skinless chicken breasts. If you enjoy seafood, shrimp and tuna steaks make great swaps too. You can actually save yourself up to five points per serving. If a recipe calls for coconut oil or butter, try olive or canola oil and save up to four points per tablespoon. If it calls for full fat milk or cheese, try fat free or reduced fat cheese and you can save up to four points per serving. If a recipe calls for sugar, try granulated stevia, grated apples or mashed bananas and again, save up to four points per serving. If you need oil, especially in baked goods, a simple swap is unsweetened applesauce and you can save up to five points per serving. If a recipe calls for heavy cream or sour cream, try canned pumpkin or full fat Greek yogurt and you can actually save up to 11 points per quarter cup. And if a recipe calls for peanut butter, try powdered peanut butter and save up to five points per tablespoon. Replace all or some of these ingredients to save. Let's dive a little bit deeper. How to save even more points. Cut down on oil or other fats by grilling, broiling, or steaming food instead of frying or sauteing. You can even pop it into your air fryer. Brush oil directly onto food or use a cooking spray or oil spritzer. Use reduced salt stock to prevent stir frying vegetables from sticking. Stretch a serving or amount by chopping up nuts and chocolate into smaller pieces. Opt for grated cheese instead of sliced or cubed and look for brands with less fat or no added sugar and use the WW app or your calorie tracking app to compare. Now I want to make one thing clear. You should be 100% okay using the ingredients that are in the recipe. No food is bad or good. You can still use oil, full fat cheese. In fact, on the cheese recommendation, I don't recommend fat free cheese. Fat free cheese is not good. Get a light cheese or just go for the full fat. It's okay to eat whole real food and food in its natural form. You don't have to look for a lower point, lower fat, lower calorie option, unless that's a choice that you want to make. It's not about turning your favorite foods into low point options. It's about consuming the foods that you really enjoy. That's what makes your journey successful, but also what makes your weight loss sustainable. We don't want to scarf down food we hate just for the sake of losing weight because it's not sustainable. And as soon as you eat the foods you actually enjoy, that's when you start gaining weight again. There's also tweaks and recipe swaps that you can make to make things fit into your day a little bit better. It's all about balance and moderation. Just like food, Recipe swaps is also about balance and moderation. And just plan ahead to fit foods that you really enjoy and love into your diet. You know that I eat dessert every single day. I had a cookie yesterday for dessert, a regular cookie from the grocery store. You can still fit those foods into your day and that's where these swaps can come in handy to save you points, calories, macros, so that you can fit in some of your favorite foods. We don't wanna restrict or eliminate any food or food group. That's the number one cause of binge eating. We want to enjoy the foods we like because again, that's what makes what we're doing sustainable long term. And we don't want to go through the act of losing weight because it's hard just to gain it all back. So eat what you love and still lose weight. I think this is a great topic because again, it's showing you that you can make swaps if you want, but you don't have to make swaps in every area to be successful on a weight loss journey. Let me know down below, what are some of your swaps that you've discovered that have really saved you points, calories, and macros? Let us know down in the comments. Now let's jump into my weigh-in for the week. So last week I weighed in and I had gained 0.2. Now, if you follow me, you know that I consider 0.2 in either direction a maintain. I actually consider up to about 0 0.6, 0 0.8 a maintain. It's typically a weight fluctuation that causes that, not an actual true weight gain. And like I mentioned, I feel really good about my week getting in my exercise. I've been a bit sore this week. I've been really utilizing my one-up 
pre pure rebuild and my BCAAs to kind of combat that soreness. In fact, on Monday night, I woke up about midnight because my legs were pretty sore from boot camp and ended up having to take a Tylenol. So I have been experiencing a little bit more soreness this week. I'm not really sure what that's all about. I have changed up my workouts a bit with that new app I've been using. Spoiler alert, stay tuned for Wednesdays. What I eat today, I'm gonna share the app. You guys are going to be so excited about this. And I'm wondering if that's where the soreness is coming from. I'm not really sure, but by the end of the week, a lot of that had kind of dissipated and I'm anticipating more soreness after my hike tomorrow. But when I stepped on the scale today, I actually lost 0.4. So I lost the 0.2 I gained last week and an additional 0.2 kind of a maintenance for me. Like I said, I consider that to be pretty much maintaining my weight, which as you know, is my current goal. So I'm happy with the 0.4 loss. I feel really good about where my weight is. I feel really good about my body. I'm feeling really good about my endurance and just all these non-scale victories, like taking an eight mile hike tomorrow. That's going to be huge for me. And for me, that matters way more than some 0.4 gain or loss on the scale. But I like to utilize the scale as a tool to keep me on track. I don't want my weight to start to slowly creep up. And then the next thing I know I've gained 10 or 15 pounds. I stay in about a five pound window. If I go outside that five pound window, I rein it in. So I feel really good about where I am and I'm happy with a little bit of a, and I'm happy with the 0.4 loss for the week. And I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing, moving my body, drinking my water, making the best food choices, getting in my calories every day, eating my protein. I feel really good. I feel really good about where I am right now. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know down below. How was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? What are some of your swaps that you make? Let us know everything down in the comments. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. Don't forget to join my Facebook group to follow along on my hike on Saturday. I always post there. I also post over on Instagram. I'll link nutrition coaching down in the description box, as well as some of my favorite things. Thank Thank you so much for watching friends. Happy Friday. And I have a big massive haul coming from for you tomorrow. So stay tuned for tomorrow's grocery haul. See you tomorrow. Bye.